Uh, there is a common question from patients uh, regarding the gastritis. Okay. Uh, and uh, for example, other patients have uh, uh, or they suffer from uh, uh, insufficient question. insufficient digestion on the other side. So, what is the difference between uh, using uh, products such as uh, digestion support, digestion power, punch cola, and on the other side, when the pita is high, how to use the pita shamak, for example, in these patients, if it is not contraproductive? Gastritis is something uh, when the when the the stomach the lining of the stomach is inflamed stomach is like a pouch like a like a pan it is connected with our mouth through a pipe when the food is going inside that pan the digestive fire is cooking it there is fire under the pan. If you are putting uh, in the pan too much food, or if you are putting alcohol, if you are giving smoke, if you are doing smoking, if you are putting uh, spices, or too much sour things, the pan which can become inflamed. Corrosive. Then, then there, that is called gastritis. And if uh, the pan is trying to throw away the food back, it is called, uh, it is called reflux. So because, because you are putting so many things, too much burden. In Ayurveda, it is mentioned that this pan, you should only eat one third. One third you should fill with food. One third you should fill with water. Water or, or the liquids like soup. And one third you should leave it empty. If you are uh, putting too much food, then it will have inflammation. That inflammation or swelling is called gastritis. And if it continues, then you are going to face the reflux. What is happening? Then the doctor gives you proton pump inhibitor. The proton pump inhibitor is just uh, uh, inhibiting the formation of acid in your in your pan then you your agni or the digestive fire is down then you start to get ama or the toxins in your body so it is better to control your food when you have this gastritis and then calm down the pitta, too much acid which is forming because of your food habits. The pitta shamak is just helping or amlaki rasayan is just helping to, to calm down the acid or reduce the acid formation in the, in the, in the stomach. It is not changing your habits. So you have to change your habits of eating. Don't uh, consume too fast. Don't consume food very slow. Don't consume food when you are in stress. Don't consume food when you are moving. Don't consume food and then don't go, go to sleep very quickly. So there should be at least uh, two hours gap between your food and your sleep. So this, these are the causes and you are eating too much vinegar, sour things, coffee. That is leading to further inflammation of the 
gastrum that is called gastritis. And uh, other food like uh, vinegar and uh, chocolates and Tā chips. It is better to soothe soothe the internal lining of the stomach. Put some uh, juice, put some juice of uh, uh, cucumber. There is fire in gastritis means there is too much fire. Because you were eating too much and the stomach was making too much acid and now it is, it is burnt. So you have to put some something cooling like a pumpkin juice not soup juice zucchini juice zucchini uh, coriander leaves so and stay empty stomach for for uh, once in a week during that uh, fasting drink some pumpkin juice such juices and you cannot stop this uh, this uh, proton pump inhibitors uh, just in one go you just take slowly slowly you stop these medicines so you can take this pitta shama kamla kirsayan and such calming herbs same, same is the treatment for reflux disease. And then you are coming to your question. What about the improper digestion and slow digestion or slow digestion product on the other side? When uh, you are eating too much heavy food, too much uh, pasta or non-vegetarian food and in the pan you are putting too much of food and the digestive fire is not able to cook it then uh, the fire is out there is no fire and the, the, cook, the food is still there it is uh, getting rotten then then to cook it you need to add some fire so that is the fire is present in the punch cola low digestive fire means low acid the, the fire is out so to lit up the fire you need to add some spices so digestion fire is having three katu. Ginger, pepper and black pepper, long, long pepper. Ginger also there and also in the in panchkola there is a long pepper. So, round pepper, black pepper. There is a herb called chitrak. And there is dry ginger. So, all extract in panchkola to lit up the fire. So, when the fire is down, we give panchkola and uh, this digestion power. Increase the fire. When the fire is down, we give this. When the fire is too much, we give pitta shamak. But these are just to give the relief to the patient. The patient has to change his lifestyle and eating habits. Understand the rules of eating described in Ayurveda. That's it. And the a level of support of digestion in digestion support digestion power and uh, punch cola. Yes. What is the level? Level of support digestion support is level one. 
Digestion power is level 2. Digestion power is level 2. Cola is too much fire. So level 3. So when you want to lit up the fire a little bit, then digestion support. When you want more fire than digestion power. Then you want more fire than Panchkola. So this is how I am using in my practice. And can this be combined, support with power and Panchkola? Or this can be combined because if somebody is in uh, need of more fire, and there is no appetite at all, he doesn't want to eat, so then you can add this. Uh, Panchkola with digestion power or digestion support also. So all the combinations depend upon patient to patient, it can differ. But you must know how to use them. Thank you. Thank you.